Hello and a very warm welcome to Titingori Tales. My name is Auntie Angie and today we will be reading An African Princess by Lyra Edmonds. An African Princess by Lyra Edmonds illustrated by Anne Wilson. My name is Lyra and I am an African princess. A long time ago, a princess was captured from Africa and taken to the Caribbean. The princess had many children who also had many children and soon there were too many princesses to count. My mama says that we are part of that story too, which has spread from Africa to every shore. So when I walk tall in my robe and crown, I am a princess too. Can you see? At school, when they poke fun at me and say, you, an African princess? Don't be silly. Where is your palace? I do get very worried that Mama just may be wrong because there are not many African princesses who live on the third floor and have freckles like me. Mama asks where my crown and fine robe have gone. Maybe I'm not an African princess at all, I say. But then she cuddles me close and she whispers, we'll see. One frosty day, when the windows are all patterns and snakes, Mama shows me some tickets. We're going on a holiday to see our African princess Tante May. At school, I can't wait to tell everyone. So standing on tiptoe, I point at the place where my African princess leaves. Then Dad and I make a calendar. And each night, I draw a cross and I wish for the days to come really quickly. And until one day, when there are no more days left. And the hot door opens on a wet hot world full of banana trees and hummingbirds. A new sky wiggles before my eyes and palm trees everywhere wave their friendly arms at me. And I feel the words bubble inside me and escape my mouth. Hello, I'm Lyra. I'm an African princess. Can you see? And on the savannah, where Mama played as a child, a man sings out loud as he chip chops a small hole in a coconut. Drink fresh coconut to make you strong like a lion, he says. Then we begin to look for Tante May on a hill with a canopy of guava and sapodilla trees. I hope, pants Mama. But I can still remember the way. And I think I can hear the monkeys giggle and say, We know her. She's an African princess. <laughs> then Mama points ahead, not at the palace, but to a little brown house on stilts. Mama, are you sure? I ask. But she's already tapping on the shutters and a soft, soft voice calls from within. Inside it's dark and cool and I blink and I rub my eyes. And there in front of me is an old lady. No crown or fine robes. Suddenly all the bubbles just disappear inside of me. Is this my African princess? But well, then, 
turn to me, smiles, and she calls me near, and she talks of princesses from long ago, from princesses all around the world, who are all part of my big family tree. And much later as we leave, she whispers in my ear, remember to be proud of who you are. And I nod and I smile, my happiest princess smile. Now when they say, you, an African princess, don't be silly. I just walk tall and I say, I am Lyra, I am an African princess, and that's me. The end. Now, I hope you enjoyed the story. And I wonder if any of you can guess what the moral of the story is. Any ideas? Baby, do you have an idea? Hmm. Okay. Well done, everyone. The moral of the story is that you should be proud of who you are, no matter where you're from, what you look like. You are all unique, so be proud of who you are. Now, thank you all. Thank you all for joining us on Titingori Tales. It was lovely to see you. See you next time. Bye-bye.